Welcome to Strike a Pose, the web series from Sideshow in which three contestants battle it out in a six-scale figure posing competition. Each contestant will be given 12 minutes to hit the best pose that they can. When the time's up, they'll all three be judged in three categories, creativity, composition, and character. The contestant with the best overall score wins. All right, let's meet today's contestants. First up is Robin. Next is Chris. And last but not least is Alex. All right, contestants, welcome to the show. Thanks for being on with us today. Are you ready to see what figure you'll be posing? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Absolutely. All right, then tear into those boxes. Pretend it's Christmas. Let's go. I don't mean to intimidate everyone, but this is what I'm using to open mine, so. Good God. <laughs> I'm thinking that I need to give Alex style points for opening with Lord of the Rings swords, but. Oh, it's not toys. Oh my God. <laughs> There's the box. We don't have to be neat about this, right? <laughs> no way. Oh. My. Woo. Nice. Nice. Oh wait, am I unpacking it completely? Wow, way cool. It is the Newt Scamander six scale figure by a Hot Toys from Fantastic Beasts 2. I'm so jealous of you guys. I've actually never had my hands on this figure, so it's going to be a lot of fun for me to see what you guys can do with it. And at this time, I figure it's important for me to point out that because each of you already has the figure in hand in your home, rather than receiving the figure as a prize, the winner of today's contest will instead receive everlasting glory and endless kudos. All right, now each of our contestants has a Newt Scamander six scale figure by Hot Toys in front of them, as well as an identical array of accessories. Contestants, are you ready to begin? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It. Excellent, excellent. I'm ready to destroy. Begin posing in three, two, one, go. Can't destroy anything. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Did you guys look inside, but. I know, is that cool? Oh, that's really, really awesome. What are these things? What are these little gems or something? What? Oh, those are uh, those are spare buttons. Oh, okay. Okay, Chris, don't Bottom. eat the silica packet. <laughs> this is not an accessory. Don't use it. Were we not supposed to do that? Ah, oh, man. And you've been doing it for years. Wow, that explains so much. Now, if I pay attention to, you know, um, how to be a poser? Just do the work. You don't out pay here. attention. To, you don't pay attention. You don't watch the show. Oh, I do watch How to Be a Poser. <laughs> That's the best show on YouTube. Kid friendly as well. Do you also watch Strike Pose to, to learn how to smack talk? Because come on. Looks like Alex is already done. Man, I've got to get this next this other leg. Come on, new, get that leg going. Ten minutes, thirty seconds on the clock, everyone. Oh my god. What that that much has gone by already? It flies by. You can count on that, if nothing else. Well, hold on. Alex, do you have a plan of attack here? My plan of attack is to just destroy everybody else. So I, that's really my own, my only plan of attack. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with this other leg and then what to do with all these nifflers. I'm impressed you know the name of those. Surprisingly, I very recently watched both of these. Oh, I'm like, well, that's fortuitous. Yeah. Or somebody told him something. Some inside info, uh -oh. maybe? I actually happen to really like Harry Potter stuff and, and the Wizarding World. I, I can go get my wands if you like. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. During the timer, go for it. Yeah. Right now. Right now. <laughs> you know what? That's how that's how little I'm afraid of you uh, defeating me in this, because I will take a five, you know, like the tortoise and the hare. I'll take a break, but I'll still win. Robin, you look like you have a very specific thing going there. How are you feeling about it? Feeling good, but the coat is, is the material is so well made and thick. It's really hard to maneuver. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'm feeling the pressure 12 minutes. Like if I had a little bit more, I could probably do it. But... I think I'm happy with this hand. I'm, I'm spending all this time and then I just, I'm, I'm waiting for the, the curveball that's going to ruin everything that I've been trying to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the curveball is going to totally mess with all of us. I actually haven't thought of it yet. Eight minutes. Oh. Oh. 
That's not being helpful. Not helpful. It's really hard to smack talk while you're concentrating. No, I'm trying to go easy on you. I mean... More smack talking. You don't need to go easy on me. I feel bad, you know, because I'm the only one who lives in New York and I live in the best place in the world, so... Well, everyone else now, lives. I won't necessarily argue with you, actually, on that point. We still have the best pizza, best bagels, and best <laughs> posing, which is going to be here once I figure out... You do know that I moved to the East Coast a year ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I... Listen, you're one of one of us. You're one of us. <laughs> that doesn't get you any points. All right, contestants, we've reached the part of the competition where it's time to throw you all a curveball. Are you kidding me? Sideshow.com. Five minutes, 30 seconds. Oh my gosh. Do you see the details on this little book? Yeah, I know. Hold on. Yes. First of all, I love how like reflective the front is. It is amazing. The gold foil. Yeah, that's, that's pretty rad. And there's actually pages in here. There's another wand. This is another wand. Yes. Wow. Okay, everybody stop. Hands off your figures. Wait. Oh. Are you kidding me? Nope. You're a big lion. You're lying. No, seriously. All right, contestants, we've reached the part of the competition where it's time <sighs> to throw you all a curveball just to change things up and keep it interesting. And for today's curveball, I'm going to require each of you to find a way to incorporate every creature in that box into your puzzle. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Are you me? Like, <laughs> let me let me just say that you don't actually have to have it on the figure itself. It doesn't have to be in the figure's hands. You just have to find a way to include it in the story. Robin, I see you doing something similar to that already. So just find a way to incorporate yeah, yeah. it into your display, not necessarily yeah. on the figure I, itself. I thought I could just like skate with one. Chris, oh, timer, timer's not begun yet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Was that a cheat? I did. I, you totally I, cheated. I I wanted to put Kelly. my my. Hey, can we make a penalty box? You got like a one minute penalty box. You can't touch <laughs> anything for a minute. Okay, contestants, ready to continue in three, two, one, go. Um, every single creature, okay. I don't trust myself to not be missing something. The only comfort that I have is I know that I'm better than you two. Only comfort that I have. Wow. Big talker. No matter how bad I am, I'm still not you two struggling to be as great as I am. We are at three minutes now. Three minutes. Okay. For the record, I was just bringing up something I had posed on the bottom to my Whatever. Staff. Whatever, liar. Think I'm a liar? Listen, if you need to cheat to get anywhere, I mean, listen, just admit it. Right. We'll forgive you. I don't know. I'm just over here concentrating on winning. So uh, it's it's all good. Keep talking. Oh my gosh! I just you ever just feel like you're forgetting something yeah. you wanted to do. How to pose? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man. Yeah, it looks like you go. You both forgot how to do that today. Oh, oh my goodness! One minute, fifteen seconds, everyone. Uh, I think Chris needs to make that sound more often. Uh, <laughs> How much time is left? Because now I'm rethinking some. 15 seconds. Think. Uh. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Alex, five, is that really what you're going four, with, dude? Oh my god. Three, dude, seriously? Two, one, and arrest him, pose him. That works, right? Hello, Robin. Hey. It's so good to see you. It's been way too long. It's great to see you too. It's a little right. tiny box, but great to see you. <laughs> no, we take what we can get in these times. Uh, what what have you been up to? How are you? Uh, how are you living your COVID life? Oh, COVID life in the house. Oh, it's been crazy. Been crazy yeah. with the 
with the kids and the family all together and distance learning. That's been a challenge. How old are they now? They're an evil seven and 13. Ooh, um, wow. Yeah. It's been that long, man. Yes. Okay. Wow. Yes. Just time creeps just, up on you. They, they turned 13 and they found their attitude. Oh, great. Just like magic. Speaking of which. <laughs> yes. Smooth segue right to your figure. Um, Looks like you've got a bit of a story to tell. You love my pose, don't you? It's, I think it's, it's the best one. It's good. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Say we'll it's the best see. one. You want, me, you want to hear me say it's the best one? Yes. You're not going to make me lie on the air, are you? No. Just lie to Ooh. me. I'm okay. I'm yes. Okay with that. It's fabulous, Robin. It's, it's fabulous. fabulous. I think it's All the right. best. It's the best pose that I've taken a close look at so far today. That's entirely <laughs> accurate. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, talk to me. What did you? What did you? What were you accomplishing here? What, what's the story that you're trying to tell? When I watched the movie, he always seemed to be doing something, running somewhere, you know, dealing with the animals, and and just kind of like always action. So I thought. It needs to be in some sort of crouching pose, especially Hot Toys put in all these these cool uh, nifflers and all these little tiny details. So I thought we're gonna have him kind of coming into the room where he's this action pose, but he's just about to like crouch down and look in the case. And he's covered with, with all his little critters here. I like your line of thinking here. I like the way that you remembered that uh, Newt is a man of action. He's always in motion and uh, he's actually quite frequently doing things rather sneakily. Uh, so the semi crouch that he's going in is very, very, very much adheres to the character in that regard. And of course you did as directed and pretty much you went over the top. Uh, when I threw the curveball, I expected maybe people to have just the magical beast around him on the ground, but you found a way to incorporate it into the figure, onto the figure job well done that's uh, that's going above and beyond i have to say i was halfway there so i i lucked out that that was the curveball you threw in so <laughs> well i'm, I'm happy, happy <laughs> but i'll that take I it called. i'll take it it's tough competition it sure is thank you robin thank you chris good to What's see up? you man how are you good to see you it's always good to see you terry Thanks, man. Yeah, wow. Look, I love your setup going, that's going on there. You've got like a nice cave going on for the show here. It is truly a cave. Having yeah, worked you... remote for 16 years, you know, I've accumulated quite a variety of cave-worthy items. So I see. Have you been able to uh, get out in the in the recent months and do anything fun at least? Yeah, finally got to the beach. So that's, yeah. uh, it's always nice to get down. We went to Virginia Beach and, uh, you know, had our nice 80-degree water over there and nobody was really there so it was it was wonderful yeah quite a difference from the california beaches oh the california beaches don't even get me started <laughs> we're going to start a war on strike a pose over the over the beaches on the opposite coasts talk to me about your uh, your pose here um looks like are we telling a story or are you strike an attitude here Ta tell me what you were thinking about a little both it is funny because it's the exact opposite of some other poses in this competition um in which Yes, he's always running, but I always was impressed by those moments in the film where the tension is there. You don't know what's going to happen because he's trying to hide these creatures. He's got to be ready. So if behind him, he's ready with his wand just behind his back, you know, and protecting his creature friends that are, you know, inside the trunk, protecting the trunk. I wanted to go more with like he's facing the muggle world, trying to be a little more cautious and figure out the situation before going into action. I see, I see. What, and what have you got going on with the case back there? Um, all the little guys are in there. They're just peeking out, like, what's going on? They all shouldn't the be, right? Nifflers. yeah. Yeah, they, they, yeah. Sh they shouldn't be, right? They should be hiding in the case, but they're they're that moment, you know, where like, no, no, the case is gonna open. No, everyone's gonna see it. Yes. That's exactly what that little moment is. Very cool. I like very much everything that you've got going on here. Uh, from the posture of Newt, um, I like the way that you just have him sort of um, casually and uh, cleverly and surreptitiously keeping his wand at the ready behind him out of sight of the muggle world, as you said. Um, bringing out the bow truckle uh, just, uh, just to have him at the ready. And of course, Niffler just being ever so stealthy, uh, hanging out there up at the top, ready to pounce. Yeah. And of course, you've also, I think, captured his love for every single one of those creatures that we see here on the pose. He's like a uh, mother hen. Protected. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Uh, job well done. Thank you. Thanks, Terry. Hey, Alex. What's going on, Terry? Uh, business as usual, my friend. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Speaking of shows, I hear you've got a new one going on with Sideshow. Talk to me a little bit about Ink Tank. All right. So Ink Tank, dude, 
Sideshow gave me this awesome opportunity. Like I get to speak to and interview artists once a month. It's like once a month on a Friday, 11 in the morning. I get to talk to artists like from the comic industry, from the toy industry, and I get to see them create new art. I get to tell them. It's almost like I get to, you know, I get to boss a bunch of artists around. It's awesome. No, but they're doing it for everybody. But it's this amazing experience that I had this opportunity to do. So any please tune in. Cause I love um, it. Count on it, man. Cause that actually sounds like one of my dream gigs. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Great to hear that you're uh, thriving there. I can't wait to see more of the show. Oh yeah. Me too. Speaking of amazing artists, uh, talk to us a little bit about what you've created here today. So Newt is, he's always running around doing, you know, action stuff. He's always, you know, solving problems, but I always think he, that he thinks before he acts. I always feel like he's always very thoughtful. So uh, with this pose, I didn't want him to be like so action oriented. I want to be like, I'm casting a spell, but he's got this thoughtful look to him. I have the book here in his hand, a little bit, a little bit of wind kind of in, in his uh, in his jacket. It's cut and so by the way, this jacket, this is the coolest thing in the world. And he's uh, he's got his little buddies crawling all over him. He's got the nifflers. He's got Pickett over here. He's got a couple of problematic uh, uh, nifflers there causing trouble. But yeah, my main thing with him is I always thought of him as action oriented, but also thoughtful. So he doesn't just jump in without thinking. Interesting. You've uh, you've gone with like the perfect blend of your uh, of the two competitors that you're striving against here. Um, you've uh -oh. done a little bit of both, uh, the quiet as well as the action. Um, I, and as you said, I really, really dig what you did with the coat there. Just having a little bit of a flip from the wind, uh, implying some motion, implying action. Um, the combination of that and the placement of the magical creatures has me thinking um, it's almost like he's getting hit by some sort of magical wind and his creatures are just like striving to hold on. They you know, don't want to get blown away. Yeah. I really dig it. It's, it looks, it would look really cool on a shelf. Job well done. Thank you. Yeah. Creativity. Composition. Composition. Today's winner with a combined total of 22 points is... We have the sixth scale from Hot Toys, Newt Scamander from Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. This is our first Potterverse piece that we get to do, and we get to do it uh, with Newt's commander, my man. All right, the scores have been tallied, the results are in, and I have to say, combined scores, probably the closest that we've seen on Strike a Pose. But there can be only one, and today's winner with a combined total of 22 points is Chris. Dang. Congratulations, Chris. This goes to show you that sometimes going with basic in museum really does take it over the top. Job well done. I lost five bucks. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you, we all venmo him. We all venmo Terry. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> we all do. Wait, I only paid 10 bucks. What did you guys oh, pay? I have no oh. idea what you're all talking about. Yeah. Who's this Terry person? I'm not getting this audio. Who's, what? I think something's wrong with the audio. What? Yeah. Can you guys hear me now? Can you guys hear me? What? Can you, what? <laughs> I'm never changing this pose. Sitting on my shelf right there as a sign to Robin every meeting oh. that I beat her. Alright, that's about it for this episode of Strike a Pose. Be sure to let us know who you thought won the contest in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under Product Info. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.